What's up, everybody? So I was reading this book uh, by the Venusian Arts Camp. It's called uh, Revelations, I think. It's very interesting. So these two bullet points really stood out to me as far as like what AZD does in his game and what I've learned in my game with him. Because sometimes I think, well, I haven't studied that much game, not realizing that I'm studying from the top player, top ethical G player on the planet constellating or organizing multiple relationships with very high value women for a long term it just it takes so much understanding of female psychology conversation game demonstrating value speaking value removing all lower value behaviors because you just you lose like you could be 99 percent good but that one percent of the time if you have like low value you lose the woman like you got to be tight all the way through consistently day after day month after month year after year I mean, he's been with his girls for over a decade plus new girls so this is what i learned or it's not even so much that i learned it's just the wording that they said it it like made me more aware of like what azd does there are two things the first thing here is the power of embedded dhv switches allowing you to here's the part i underlined Flip attraction and connection switches. So these guys in, in uh, Revelations, they separate connection switches from attraction switches. Switches, Attraction switches being like pre-selection, leader of men, healthy emotions. Like those basic attraction switches that a girl feels attraction for you. Different than connection switches. Like rapport, similarity, conspiracy, vulnerability. There are things that create a connection that are different than attraction. You could read the book to learn more about the difference. But so embedding dhv switches demonstration of higher value embedding value in your conversation that flip attraction and connection switches through storytelling and conversation that's basically what it is so i was thinking of these millionaire club parties and even the game at the strip clubs with him and it's a lot of comfort building but it's a lot of because you don't want to just be friends so you have to be attractive also you demonstrate value and you embed switches attraction and connection or you flip these switches in her mind that create experience in her body by embedding in your conversation attraction and connection switches this is what azd is a master of he just it's, it's embedded in how he talks that's where the beast character came from so that by talking the beast philosophy the discipline like what he does is attractive to women like that it's just so embedded it's not written out like a bullet uh, bullet list of talk about this, talk about that, you know, here's a gambit, here's a line. It's embedded in the beingness so that by just conversing about your life, having enthusiasm, which just it comes naturally from being living the disciplined life and eagerness and uh, maybe not eagerness, but like um, just like excitement or a high emotional tone and then calibrating your language embedded in your natural conversation – You'll be flipping attraction and connection switches. I don't want to make this video too long. The other thing that was underlined, it's a shorter thing. Um, I just put a star next to it. I say AZD game because it just reminds me of like, oh, this is what I've been learning. Like this is a book from pickup artists, but this is what I've been learning from that guy that lives in that room right there, Arash. Practice using calibrated sound bites to add elements of disinterest or appreciation where they are appropriate to her responses. So he basically says in this bullet point, stop practicing canned routines, exclamation point. Instead, just be yourself. This is from, uh, I believe this book is written by uh, Love Drop, who is one of the Venusian arts guys. Stop practicing canned routines. Instead, just be yourself and practice using calibrated sound bites to add elements of disinterest or appreciation where they're appropriate to her responses. So... We get a lot of sound bites from Arash. So many of my sales and seductions, I mean, it has sound bites, like meaning like little phrases or sentences or even just ideas that you could maybe count them as lines or gambits that like they maybe qualify for that definition, but they're really just wordings, little phrasings. Like when you hear him talk about the beast philosophy or sleeping on the floor or counting macros or the yoga practice or whatever, and then you can use that in your own life in your own relationships in your own game and it's not so much a gambit or a canned routine it's just you're using where appropriate these sound bites that spike attraction that spike connection and um you know even elements of disinterest i mean so much of this it's just the more you listen to azd's lectures and how he 
how he breaks down like how he does his relationships, his text game, his Tinder game, his Instagram game, his relationship game with his girlfriends or whatever. You will pull sentences and frames and phrases from what he's saying and you'll use them naturally in your conversation. Okay, that's all I wanted to share with you much longer than I thought.